What up, everybody? Big Kev back in the building. Today, we've got Lionel Messi, the one-man show. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Let's check it out. Still going. It's Coutinho, and he's got another one. It's ace. It's absolutely embarrassing. Messi and looking around thinking, I'm missing Yesta, I miss Xavi, I miss Puyol because well, they, those guys aren't there for them anymore. He's mm. probably thinking, I've got another year or two left in my career at, at any that kind of level. But does he want to that spend that it in, exactly. the, in that shirt at I mean, that club, but given the, the yeah. performances and the way yeah. the squad is looking at the moment in comparison yeah. to other teams around, around Europe? So it's a big question I'm sure that he'd you, probably be thinking about. Do you think he should leave? When, when you're a footballer of that type, you need to be happy. When you got Lionel Messi enjoying his football, then his football is at his best. And here is this man, Lionel Messi, who just never seems to tire. What do you do to stop him? Lionel Messi controls. So it looks like this is kind of focused on his last, uh, his last stand with the team, with uh, Barcelona, with FC Barcelona, before he uh, ended up moving on. If the team's not able to compete. I mean, Messi's only got so many good years left. I can understand the desire to want to move on. You know, I'm sure he got, he wants to compete for those big titles and he doesn't just want to carry a team that's not really, he'll play well, but they're not going to win, you know, anything at the end of the season if he doesn't have the guys around him, no, no matter how good you are. Everything about the, the, the front third of the pitch and he's the key man, always. Nice! Astonishing like only Lionel Messi can! The ghost in the machine of football! Lionel Messi takes it on himself this time and what about that? That was just a thunderbolt! My goodness me, have you ever seen a football hit that hard? It's absolutely brilliant, isn't it? That strike had a little bit of frustration in it, a little bit of anger, but... It had and a, a little it, bit of genius. And a, a, a majority of genius. <laughs> yeah. And it's just great that we get to sit here and watch it. And that's, you know, I just hope he goes on for many, many years to come. I mean, even even this late in his career, he's still a scoring machine. I mean, he still he still looks as good as ever. But Pontic had backed away. Help, Messi, Messi! Again, the personification of nothing. Those dribbling, that little dribble move right there is ridiculous. Less than genius, and Messi continues his. And it looks like a skirt to boot. Messi goes through. Oh! Yeah! Hits the. Oh, that's cute. Bullseye. I'm talking. He brings out his Mars Wallace bouncing bomb here. The damn buster. That is Lionel Messi. Where the impossible becomes the predictable. And where the insane becomes the expected. He's got that cheeky smile on his face. He's having fun. Really enjoying his football again. Look at this balance. Fantastic. Dribbling. <laughs> that won't look like it hurt. The emergencies. Oh. Messi to the inside. The heel flick by Brathwaite. Badia gets a hand to this one. But Messi will not. But the coming Peter's curse comes alive, and Barcelona fans are ecstatic about that. Drops it for Messi, who tiptoes through and chips it home. A brilliant run, Messi being Messi. I think my favorite part of his game is just watching him like attack downfield on the dribble. Pretty much a thing. Oh, and that swung into the far post. Messi dummies, Griezmann buries. Well, that's the that was pretty sick. The magic. Clever dummy by Messi. Can I ask you to explain that to me? Look at that low center of gravity, keeping possession so well. And Messi. <laughs> Slaloms to his right, dances past the defense. Oh, oh he's missed it. The madness of Messi. This is insane talent. Where the unexpected becomes the guaranteed. Where he starts it as a dream ball. The ball is so weighted to perfection how the hell messi sees this one strikes for the corner what? and it's ah! absolutely <laughs> this time. and there is no denying the monster that guy went to that goal post hard again with his left foot strapped the various places with his music man don't look at him for him in the 
Francis who knows he doesn't live there. He lives in the magnetic spectrum of genius. Chance here for Messi, 1-0. Ah! Oh. It's lovely work to find Messi and Messi buries it. Looks like a masterpiece. Magic to do it. The, the drop-off between the best of Barcelona in a game and the worst of Barcelona in the same game is so significant, it's so steep. The difference between the highs and lows is so significant. Gerard Piquet cannot defend, Sergio Roberto cannot defend. You see this team desperate to try to hang on to the game and they simply can't. And there it is, Atletico Madrid. Oh, I mean, yeah, it sucks, but you know, Messi's only one guy, you know, the soccer the soccer team has a lot of a lot of moving parts and you know you can't win with just one dude carrying all the weight i mean you might get away with some games but you're not going to win championships that's that that way sad that this was his last year with barcelona but he had a great run with them. I mean, he played for one team for, it seems, much longer than most players do. I mean, I know Ronaldo moved around quite a bit compared to Messi. And it's played out well for Messi. You know, since he's left, he's had success over here in America and won a World Cup back at home in Argentina. So, I mean, in the end, you know, it was it was the right move to make. They have done it! The, the number of good players around Messi are not good enough. The gap between Messi and, and who's going to be next. Well, that's what I mean for the next two years. Ready, is he? You can't see them being successful. No, you can't. Can. These next two years where he's still going to be, he's going to have the power to influence games the way he does. Mm. Is he going to want to be doing that really, not really competing yeah. for, for, the, for the big titles? I, I don't know. Pero me dolieron más las cosas cuando se me ponen en duda mi mi amor por este club porque por más que me vaya o no me vaya eso no no va a cambiar nunca. Yeah, I mean, it's got to be bittersweet for him to, to leave after so many years and, you know, being so ingrained in the in the club there and in the culture and everything. So, but life goes on and uh, he made the best of it. I know that uh, hopefully he'll have a few more good years ahead of him. I don't know how much longer he plans on playing. And he certainly doesn't need to play anymore. So it's all about just personal desire at this uh, at this point. I mean, he's also basically won nearly every accolade that you could win. So I'm assuming that, you know, as long as he's still passionate and relatively healthy, he'll play for hopefully a couple more years at least. Until next time, have a good one.